When data is transmitted, signal noise and synchronization errors can cause data to be lost or garbled. So it is important to have a way of verifying that the data that is received is what was actually sent. One simple way to do this is by using the internet checksum. There are different checksum algorithms, but this one is based on a sequence of ones complement additions. Let's say we're performing ones complement addition of two binary numbers with the same number of bits. Specifically, first we carry out the addition like normal. So one plus one, we get a zero and a one. One there, one plus zero is one. And these ones result in a value of two. So we have one plus one and a zero. And then we have a bit carrying out. Well, in one's complement addition, the one that carries out goes back over and is added to this result. So we get a one from there, and then these values come down, and then that bit is lost. So we have a final result that is four bits long, just like the two input values. So this is one's complement addition. Now, to calculate the checksum, we'll be needing to do one's complement addition of words, which in the context of this video means 16-bit strings. So a word is a number consisting of 16 bits. And to make it easier to depict these values, I'll be using hexadecimal. And here is an example hexadecimal addition using one's complement addition. So the hex value F204 added to F321. So remember, hexadecimal is base 16. 4 plus 1 is 5. 0 plus 2 is 2. And 2 plus 3 is 5. But these F values, each of them is 15. So 15 plus 15 is 30. But we have to think of this in terms of base 16. So 30 is 14 more than 16. So we'll put a value of 14 there, E stands for 14, and a 1 there. Now just looking at the values that you can see here, the 1 there is like a 16, and the E is 14, so 16 plus 14 equals 30, which is F plus F. Of course, this 1 wraps around, gets added there, and that gives us our final checksum value here below. Now we would like to transmit the following sequence of hexadecimal values over a network. Let me write them out. And as you can see here, I've grouped them into sequences of four hex digits. These are 16-bit words. And what we'll do is we'll take the adjacent words, so there's the first and now the second, and we're going to add these up using one's complement addition. So here is the first partial sum. It is C621. And we're essentially going to repeat this process over and over again. Now you see the first word came from there, and now we'll take the next word in this sequence and add it to this partial sum which we've already calculated. So I'll write that out, and when we add these two values together, the result will be the following. And this time we have a carry bit. So that will wrap around and be added to the first position because we're using one's complement addition. So the actual final partial sum from this next word will be C3C3. Now we'll add the next 16-bit word to our current partial sum. So I'll write that value out. When we add the next word, we get another one carrying out, which of course goes back to the first position and is added to get a final result of 9A4E. 
And next we'll add our last 16-bit word to get our final sum from this computation. This sum also has a one that carries out and that wraps back around. And our final sum is 4951, but it is not our final result. To get the checksum, we do a ones complement operation on this sum. And the result of that will be our final result. Now to do ones complement on a hex value, we subtract each of the digits from 15. So see how we have 15 minus 4 is B, which is 11. 15 minus 9 is 6. 15 minus 5 is 10, which is A. And then 15 minus 1 is E, which is 14. And so that is our actual checksum. So the sender will take this checksum and the original sequence of values it wants to send, and it will simply add this checksum to the end of the sequence of hex values that it is transmitting. And so this here is the complete message that will be transmitted by the sender. Now, if everything goes well, the receiver will receive the exact same message that was transmitted by the sender. So the receiver will get this same sequence of words without any problems or garbled data. But how does the receiver confirm that what it receives is actually the same as what was originally sent? Well, basically, it's going to repeat a very similar process that we've done here, the same sequence of additions, but at the end, it'll do something slightly different. So it'll start from the beginning and add these two words together as before, and if the data that is received is the same as what was sent, then we'll get the same sequence of results. Each of these partial sums will be the same, so we'll repeat each of these steps, including the ones complement addition aspects, and We'll just go through the same process and get all the way to the result of 4951 at the end here. But then we do one more addition on the checksum, which was also sent to the receiver from the transmitter. So we take the checksum and we add it to that sum here just as we were with the previous words. So here's how that operation looks. We write both 16-bit words and add them as before. Now E plus 1 is F and A plus 5, that's 10 plus 5, that's 15, that's also F. And 9 plus 6, also 15, also F. And B plus 4, 11 plus 4, also F. So the result is all Fs, or in binary, all 1s. This is how we know that what was received is the same as what was sent. The checksum calculation on the receiving side will be all Fs, because we've constructed our result using all of the data, and we've basically assured that the final checksum will produce this particular result. So that is how the internet checksum works. It is a fairly simple process, but still in use. However, there are other approaches, which are also in use, and we'll learn about some of those in a future video.